everybody this is Will Martell and I am coming back at you with another video now it's been a while since I have dropped another video on this channel because I've been busy working on a film a short film to kind of launch my directorial uh, sort of uh, endeavor let's just say that and this movie is called discarded now I've had a number of people ask me what this particular film was all about so I'll tell you this film is based on a man that had gone through a very very uh, hard breakup and the enemy that he has to face is himself so I play a dual role now with that being said how many times in your life that you had come face to face with a decision that basically you had to ask yourself can you go on can you move on can you endure? Can you move forward? Can you do all these things? And it is at this particular point in the film where this guy is questioning if he is good enough for anybody, if he is lovable, if, if, any, if any woman would want anything to do with him like that. All of these things happen to us in real life. And what I wanted to basically convey through this visual medium was to really show that these things are real, that narcissistic abuse is real, that these people are very very toxic in their own way and what they try to do is paint a picture like they're perfect like they have the world at their feet and that they can never do anything wrong I was told one time by uh, this ex girlfriend that's not really even worth mentioning her name uh, she had looked at me one day and said that she was never wrong. So anyone that would say or fix their mouth to say something like that has a very serious problem because in the real world, human beings admit, some admit when they were wrong for something, when they have done something that wasn't uh, to another person's liking or they had done anything that was wrong. They will admit that they were wrong about it and move on, discuss it with the other person and move on. But a narcissistic person will never, ever, ever, one, admit that they were wrong about anything, two, will try to build this public facade like they are the end all, the be all, that they're perfect, that uh, they can do no wrong. And all the while, they are doing the absolute worst crap behind closed doors. It's almost like I would give this example. It's almost like uh, I've heard stories of uh, Hulk Hogan because I, I used to be a part of that uh, wrestling business. So I'm just taking Hulk, for example, and people's opinions of him. Well, people's opinions of him was when the cameras were on, he was the quote unquote good guy. Say your prayers, eat your vitamins, this, that, and the other. And it goes on and but behind closed doors, however, Hulk was a piece of work. 
Hulk was Hulk was uh, a bad guy. Hulk was a politician. Hulk didn't want to lose matches. Uh, you know, he goes on and on and on. But that's just an example. I don't know the guy personally and never had met Hulk. I was a big fan growing up, so I don't, I, I can't uh, really share an opinion on that. But I'm just giving you an example of how narcissists are basically, and they are also the type of people that will blame you, not only for their own shortcomings, but will blame you for things that they have done or are doing behind your back. And sometimes these people are even so bold as to do things in front of you because they know how you feel about them. So they know you won't confront them with the situation, but I guarantee you that if you confronted a narcissistic person on their BS, that would mean, and that will tell you that the mask is starting to fall off. They will future fake too. They will tell you the future. They will tell you that they will be with you in the future and you will make all these elaborate plans and things to be together and get married and, and do all these things and roll together and all that stuff. But it's all an illusion. The relationship, I have to admit, and it took me a long time to admit it, that my relationship, my last relationship was an illusion. I was there to fill space, so to speak. I was there because this person felt that since they didn't want to be alone, and the other person they were with had moved on and things like that, that they didn't want to be alone. And it took me a long time to really, really uh, kind of go back and think about the entire relationship in a whole and what was wrong with me. And these people are codependent vampires. And in the story uh, discarded, this man is going through a horrible time of trying to figure out where he stands, what his worth is, uh, if he's good enough, if he's lovable, if, you know, just all these things. You know, would he be good enough for somebody else? But all the while, he is still living and denial and that's what we do when we're dealing with a narcissistic person because they've painted this big elaborate picture that everything is going to be perfect and the future and they're discussing all these things with you when all the while you're not the priority you are a fill-in because believe me when I tell you, and I've said this in other videos, when a narcissistic person gets involved in a relationship, they already have a supply on the back burner and they already have it waiting. So once they're done and they're tired of you, they're going to monkey branch to someone else. They're going to open that new can of supply and start sucking them dry in more ways than one. So, I'm gonna wrap up this video by saying, stay focused on your goal. Do not let a narcissistic person drive you to the point where you will take your own life, which has been known to happen, where you start to doubt yourself and doubt your self-worth, you are worth something. So don't ever let these people 
sucker you into believing that you're not worth it, that you're not good enough. You are good enough because if you weren't good enough, God, if you believe in that sort of thing, God, the universe, and things of that nature, the universe will remove you. If you don't have a purpose, the universe will gladly remove you. Think about it. Why is it that a lot of people that you have known have passed away, have died, have gone, you know, have have left this earth and you are still here. There's a reason. So do not, I repeat, do not let these people drive you to the point where you will do something to yourself or harm yourself in any way. Because believe me, they do not care. They do not have empathy for another human being. It is all about them. And if you think for one minute that these people care about another human being, then you are sadly mistaken. You are living in denial. If you think that they actually care, these people do not care. They are emotional vampires. They feed off of people and attention. That is what they feed off of. It is all about them. They are the center of the universe and you mean absolutely nothing. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this up by saying I will be back really, really soon with another YouTube video. And remember to go to my video channel, Dragon Whip Entertainment, click subscribe, and very, very soon I'll have a Patreon account popping up and also PayPal if you guys would like to throw some change my way and whatnot to keep this channel going. All right, remember everybody, keep going for your dreams, set goals, and don't let anything stop you. Fight to your very last breath. And remember, every day above ground is a good day. Check you guys later.
Thank you. 